I've got a lovely tulip uh, flower square card that I've done some paper piecing on for today's video using pixie powders. We're also going to be using our Sending Hugs, which is part of our Shadowed Mini Sentiments. Here is the tulip flower square out of the frames and tags. We're going to create a little bit of a um, pretty background using the basket weave. And I've done a frame, a multi-layered frame, out of the double stitch squares. Okay, so I'm going to start with a piece of green card and do a little bit of a cheat using pixie powders. So I've got the pale olive, take the lid off, the emerald green, and the spearmint. Okay, so I'm going to take all the lids off of these. And because I'm using a green base on that, I don't actually need to use as much of the pixie powders. I just want to get a little bit of a really uh, luminous sparkle coming across from these. Here's your emerald green. Just going to do the center section here. And this is your pale olive. There we go. So bring these in with a little spritz of water. So you can see how your colors will bring to life. You get a little bit of that floating motion with a bit more of the water. If you want it to be a tiny bit uh, brighter, you can add in some extra colors here. You can bring in a little bit more if you want it, but you've got basically your green showing through. So you've got a totally green piece of card. Now I've got one I've done earlier. We are going to use this piece for our uh, paper piecing. So I'll set this aside. And then on the yellow one for the actual tulip, I've used straw yellow and sun yellow. And I've done that fairly bright because I wanted that to really show up that tulip. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. I've cut the tulip square out of black, so we're going to use that as our base. And I put a piece of sticky adhesive sheet onto the backing of the square which comes stitched. I'm going to put this right over the top. Just catch the edge here. Get that lined up. There we go. Tiny bit off there, but not bad. I'm going to use this to pop it down into place. Okay. And we're going to come back to that in a second. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this uh, tulip out of the yellow. I'm not even going to use the backing piece because I don't actually want the actual square. I want the fall away pieces from this. So give it a quick cut. carefully bring this over and I'm going to bring the whole entire piece over so I don't lose any of these pieces. Okay, so what I want here is just the actual tulip pieces. I'm going to bring this back in so they're fairly good size which is lovely. This is so easy to do your paper piecing on. Pop that piece in there. Oops. This large piece here right in the center of the tulip. And it just goes right down on that sticky sheet so easily. Pops right back into place. And then I've got a littler piece here. So I'm going to use the pokey tool. I've put a little bit of a glue dot on there just to help pick that up. Pop that one into place. There we go. And this piece. Okay. So now my tulip is all in place. So what I want to do is get rid of these pieces. So I'll just tap them into the, the bin. I want to bring in the green one that I've done. Make sure that all of these are out of the, uh, the die. And I'm going to cut that. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now bring this one over, set that aside, peel up the actual die cut there. So what I want to do is grab the leaves out of the green. So this one will go right into here. Lay that down. Oops, stay. This piece will go right next to that. You've got that tiny little stem there that will go in there. And one more leaf. Oh, where did we go? 
and you might still be hiding. Oh, there it is. Okay, pop that out. That will go right into there. You can see how easy that paper piece is because there's so few pieces here. Now, I went ahead and cut the backing out of white already, and I believe there's five or six pieces here that we're going to pop in and put that into place. This one will go right down here. I've got this piece here, which goes right there. I've got this little corner guy. Pieces right into place there, and this tiny little one up in the top. There you go. See how easy that is to paper piece? Now I've cut this, so it's, uh, or put this on, so it's just a little off on the top. So what I want to do is just trim this with my scissors. You could also take a little bit of a um, uh, black marker around the edge, and that wouldn't show. So I'm going to come back to that. We'll add some mounting foam on the back, and we're going to bring in our background. So I've gone ahead and I've cut that basket weave background. This is a lovely background, 5x5 five five size, no cutting edge, so you can keep as little or as wide of a border around it as you like. And I want to put a black backing so it really pops out that design. So I'm just going to put that right over the top. Okay, give that a good press on there. So you can see all those little woven details now. I've done a multi-layered frame with a wider white base and then a thinner black uh, frame on top using the double stitch squares. And I'm peeling off the mounting foam backing. And we're just going to layer this right over the top. I might need to trim away a little bit of edge to it. Excuse me while I just sort of lean over it. I find it's easiest if I just sort of hover over the design. There we go. And that looks like it's nice and even. Perfect. I like that. No trimming necessary. I've done a black and white edge for this. Just bringing in the black as the mat because I've got quite a bit of black on the card. So it gives it a nice balance. I'm going to pop that into place. That'll go right between my pierced edge. And I'm going to come back to my beautiful tulip that's paper pieced. And you can see you get all that shimmer from that um, pixie powder coming through. I'm going to put that right up into the top corner, offset it, and I've done the sending hugs in a black font on a white shadow. So I'm going to put that down there, sort of offset that into the corner. And the sending version, let's get the mounting foam pieces off that. And there we go. I'm going to just do sort of a diagonal here into this lower corner. Straighten that up a little bit. There you go. Isn't that easy? And you could see that paper piecing took very little time. What I love about this technique too is you can use up some of your little bits and do things like this. It's not a very large die. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Our YouTube channel has so many more for you to watch. Please like us and subscribe and a new email will be sent when we load new videos on for you.